Welcome once again to the Daily Message. In today's gospel, the gospel that the church has given us today for our reflection, uh, Jesus uh, has just sent out the apostles, and now he's telling them, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves, so be shrewd as serpents and simple, simple as doves. Uh, he says, Beware of men, they will hand you over to courts, they will scourge you, you'll be led before governors and kings, and all of that kind of thing. This gospel reading is actually addressed to the members of Matthew's community in the early church, who did from time to time have to face persecution. They were handed over and they were scourged and uh, they were led before governors and kings. And so notice Jesus says, when they hand you over, don't worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. So what does this reading have to do with us? I think there is an important lesson for us to learn in this reading in that if we do the work of ushering in the reign of God, if we do the things that Jesus commanded the apostles to do and that Jesus commands us to do, the work of healing, the work of forgiveness, the work of justice and mercy, if we do these things, we can expect the same treatment as the apostles. We can expect to be misunderstood. We can expect hostility and rejection. And I think the reason for that is because when we do the work of the reign of God, we are going against the wisdom of this world. We are going against the wisdom of our culture. Our, our, our culture tells us pretty much that we are on our own, that we need to pull ourselves up by our own bootstraps. And if we are poor or in some way don't have our rights, then it's our own fault. But that is not the message that Jesus gives to us. That is not the message of the gospel. The message of the gospel is that we are all one and that we need to take care of one another. And when that happens, that is when the reign of God is most fully present in our midst. And so when we face misunderstanding, hostility, and rejection, how are, what are we to do? What are we to say? Jesus gives us the answer in this gospel when he says, don't worry, you will be given what you are to say. In other words, Jesus is telling his apostles and he's telling us that in those moments of rejection and hostility, we should continue to trust in God. We should continue to believe in the love and mercy and forgiveness, which is about the reign of God. Thank you for watching and listening today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend.